For the first time tonight, Fort Bragg is showing us inside the Smoke Bomb Hill Barracks, talking about this major relocation effort unfolding on post. As we have been reporting, families on post being moved out of these barracks because of the living conditions being so poor, including mold. Monique John getting a look inside those barracks today. She's here to tell us what she saw. Monique. So we got to speak to some of the Fort Bragg officials outside of one of the barracks at Smoke Bomb Hill. Uh, and we also went inside of some of the units in the barracks. Now, we didn't see any large, obvious signs of mold or major extensive amounts of damage. What we did see were some more subtle uh, signs of wear and tear that you might see in any kind of aging building. Um, either way, Fort Bragg officials say that they are still committed to offering their service members comfortable, pleasant living conditions that are up to their standards. We will not put somebody in a, in a, in a home that's not suitable. We will put, not put somebody in a barracks that's unsuitable. And so then it's up to us to identify those and determine is it refilled, new build, tear down, etc. Ford Bragg says this effort that includes demolishing a large number of those barracks and refurbishing some is involving several departments across post. Officials say the effort is costing around $115 million. As of today, more than 300 soldiers have been vacated out of the barracks. That's out of about 1,200. In response to questions over whether there could be issues of mold and untenable conditions at other barracks on post, officials shut that down, saying housing facilities are evaluated for safety and proper conditions on an ongoing basis. They also explained the timing of the Smoke Bomb Hill barracks renovation and demolition effort falls into that timeline as those barracks have run their course. I feel very confident that we don't have any buildings that we need to move out of necessarily. We have we have different rooms that have um, you know issues uh, like all places uh, water leaks or, or things like that or, we, or for some reason uh, that it's not being cooled properly and so if we don't have any more barracks necessarily like this that we need to vacate and I think that we, what we got to do is just keep up with the pace of as you know the buildings age out either refurb or build build new. We also asked if soldiers can expect to receive any special medical treatment or resources if they claim to have medical concerns that appear to stem from mold exposure in those barracks. Officials say they have not received any reports of health issues as a result of that exposure or to any of the other uh, untenable conditions in these barracks. Uh, they say that they don't anticipate seeing any significant medical cases coming about from the situation, but those officials at Fort Bragg do encourage any soldiers with medical concerns to take advantage of the health care resources and facilities on post. At Fort Bragg, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. We'll keep watching it. Monique John on post at Fort Bragg tonight. Monique, thank you.